guys, Echo Spark here. We're here with episode two of making your own servers. So here on this episode, we're gonna be talking about buying a server. So I don't know where my file went because I can't find it anymore. But there, um, where we planned out everything. Well, now we're gonna buy a server. So you cannot make this free. If you want a good server, you're gonna have to pay something at least the hosting the website and if you want staff I didn't really pay for my staff I don't think you should either but uh, without paying your staff because that'd be like a really big server but since you're starting out get your like friends on but not really that close of friends because they just want staff they want to be co-owner and it just gets annoying so first let's uh, buy a server so right here I have mine spam last episode we were talking about um, information when buying it and hosting so I finally came up with the name it's host or I used to host these people don't really trust them anymore because I lost money somehow and I, just, I put my card here and well, a month later someone some random person took money so I don't really trust these people but I don't know that's the only people I put my credit card info on here and someone just like stole money like in Seattle they like bought a hotel or something wasn't me and don't really trust people but these host word and mind span pretty much the same people because if you chat see this is chat now chat now yeah uh, there's a staff that works on both servers that works on both websites hosting but I like Mindspan more and Hostor Hostor like the control panel is too plain this one's like really cool so I bought the stone plan is 1 to 40 players 4 gigabytes if you host with host if you want to host with Hostor I recommend starter 5 gigabyte storage no 1 gigabyte storage is 5 I don't know but memory RAM is what you're gonna need so you can have more players this one's limited so is this one because they're the same company but this one you can like start at four dollars once you make your server then upgrade to basic once you get more players and add some more stuff move to pro and if you ever do make it really high like really big server unlimited my problem that I had is I started with unlimited first like right then bought that one first not really that smart because it took like a month for me to make my server and it was like a everything server really bad so uh, let's get into this so once you buy the stone plan or like whatever plan you want I'll just demonstrate with this you just click order you put your username uh, you put your username don't just put your own and click agree you can click continue it's gonna ask you for some stuff like your address your phone number and your name your email and a password to make an account sign in and buy this and then it'll take you to a PayPal button where you click PayPal and then you buy it from there and then you just click to buy and then once you click pay now with on the PayPal website then it will say that it sent you an email and then you go to your email box it should be one to two minutes or like for me it was instant I don't know about you but once you get the email it will show up you click it there's gonna be two things that pop up it's gonna say mine spam or whatever you're hosting invoice payment confirmation and then it'll say your name and all that it'll say everything that you um your invoice and then the second will be mine spam new minecraft server information that thing is what you're gonna need to keep for a long time so it's gonna be an email called new S minecraft server information that's where it says how you um, log in you're gonna need that and it says your server address how do you how you log in control panel which you're gonna need to click your username and password when you sign into the control panel and all that stuff let me just close that here close. okay and then let's drag in this is my um, this is where it pops up so you're gonna need like 
you'll see this page when you click the control panel then you log in with the I think username that you put I just put Vexrix and then password autofills because I've used these people before but for you you have to like copy and paste a password that's just gonna be it's not gonna be like your personal password from your mind spam it's gonna be one that they give you it's like really weird like capital numbers it doesn't make any sense but that's what they give you for more secure and then I click stay logged in and then log in and then this is like what you get so let's talk about what is all this so name I'm just gonna put mini game server this is gonna be the name of your server it won't matter just finding it if you have like a lot of servers that you bought from this website and then status it'll say players online show banner this doesn't really do anything all those that show you this uh, IP I'd copy and paste that and then put a little the two dots and then put this right after it world if you import a world which I'll show you how you can just select it uh, then the jar file I'm gonna do spigot 1.8.8 I'm gonna put this one because I've had problems and then this is like your version so if you're doing like a pixelmon server you'd like to mod craft bucket and I'll show you how to make a modded server if I get that reply in the comments I'll make how to do a modded server how to make it modded but for now if you're gonna make it public everyone can join I put it one spake it uh, some people what the it's not even here anymore craft bucket yeah craft bucket it's so slow when you restart it takes like 10 minutes if you have a lot of stuff on it it's big it's just it's fast so it's big it's really good go on latest version second to last because the last one is really beta see um seven they're having issues and they had two versions go with this one if you're using 1.7 and 1.8 if you want people to join if they're like on 1.1 just click that save and then restart and then go to the latest version and then save and restart and then they can join from here to here they can join on all these versions and then CPU if you like have a lot of stuff and it's restarting that'll go up memory since I have 4 gigabytes I have really nothing on here just a simple world uh, permissions IP you throw um, you throw whatever just put it on guess I don't know what that really does cheat roll moderator so you can be like op to use cheats I don't know what it really does I then click save I don't know why this doesn't oh yeah cause I clicked the banner mini game mini games so I'll just put that and then save this will say your status players and then console will say everything that there's like if you add a new plugin it'll say something plugin has successfully been enabled or when you stop it will say disabled so that's that you can put commands some like if a hacker bans you you can just op yourself back ban someone like ban their I, their name or you can op them deop doesn't really work because it's like essential stuff and then player will say everyone connected everyone ever connected owner and their IP if you want to look at their IP I don't know why would you but if you want to files this thing um, bucket plugins I don't really use this because they don't give you the latest version sometimes but this is like where you automatically just add a plugin so like if you're all following me I'd put essentials just look up essentials it's gonna be a lot of crap here gonna need to find just essential essentials and then to make sure just click this website and it's essentials yeah for 1.8 and then install but don't install it from here because it doesn't give you everything and it will mess up if you like have a special plugin uh... ftb file access this is the password that they give you in the email so you get that out copy that and then paste it once you put it once i can go back here that's like every what the this is everyone's server on Mindspan. Wow, that's cool. I don't know, you can see that. Okay, I don't know why that's there. 
There we go. And put, go back. And then you'll be back here. And if you go to FPP file access, if you already put your password once. Okay, yeah, I need to put my password again. And then you can see everything. Jar files is the files that, um, the, you know, the version. Logs is people that logged on and the console logs. So if you have like an error for it with the plugin, you can look at there. World, that's the worlds that you have installed. I'll show you how to add worlds later. EULA, if you ever delete every server, every single file, like restart your whole thing without buying a new one, it'll say for ELA, EULA, you have to put it true because it's false. Ops, you can see the ops, but you can do that in game as well. You can delete them from here too. It's like some weird thing. All I have to do is copy that and then paste it and then put your own thing. Server properties, this is where you edit a lot of stuff. Game mode, what the default is. Uh, difficulty, mob spawn, op permission level, don't really know what that is. And then everything, like your port, IP, spawn NPC, max build height. I don't, I don't, don't change it because if you change it, you're going to need a mod and it's just going to crash everybody, so don't change that. The MOTD is the thing that pops up, so I'm just going to do, uh, echo, oh, echo, echo. Spark, Spark, Mini Games, and then enable Archon. If you want, like, to add an icon, that'll be later. Online mode, true. The whitelist, true. I don't want anyone joining except me. But you can take that off once you like getting published and all that. Um, and that's that. That's basically everything. Whitelist. If you want, like. If you're making a whitelist, you need to add people. Uh, user, that's like everyone that's ever joined, and they're upload, create directory. If you want to create one of these folders, create a fo fo folder, or upload something like to the whole thing. If you want to upload a plugin, right now there is no plugin, so I need to my server. Once it says Spig 1.8, you have to restart it. And when you go to console, it'll show you everything that's happening at the exact moment. You can't edit this. Like, can't. It just says that because you're trying to do something that they don't want you to do. And then I need to go back. And it's on again on Spigot. And then you go to Files, FTP File Access, OK. Plugins, you'll have a plugin folder. If you want to add a plugin, just click plugins, upload, and then you should find it from your uh, your downloads folder. If you downloaded one from a website. So just example, we're gonna install essential essentials. We're just gonna install that for now. Uh, not developer build because that usually messes me up. Rave build. Um, and then essentials core download save open in folder and then if you go here open downloads shoot that's like essentials we're gonna need to extract all and then you need everything when you install essentials install this one and then add a new one chat spawn not anti build anti build is what people mess up on it's just like you can't access anything if you're not opt so protect you're gonna need that too and then just submit it'll take a little bit depending on your Wi-Fi or your internet and then it just says okay it'll sh show up right there and then you need to restart it so then it'll pop up. So that is basically episode 2 of my new series. If you like it, just click that subscribe button so you can stay tuned with all the latest ones. This is basically the tutorial that will show you to get a popular Minecraft server in a short time. 
I don't think any videos have ever showed you start to finish how to actually do it. So stay tuned and stay cool.